In today's video, I will teach you how to free transform in PhotoP. Let's get started. Free transform is a basic tool for doing transformations. It works like any other regular tool, but it is not present in the toolbar, and you can enable it by clicking Edit, then Free Transform, or by pressing Alt Control T. And here's the step by step guide to using Free Transform. Once enabled, the transformation rectangle appears around the selected content. This rectangle has four control points on the corners, four on sides, and the rotation center in the middle. And if you want to move the object, press and drag inside the rectangle. To rotate it, press and drag outside the rectangle. And to resize, press and drag at the corners to change the size. To scale horizontally or vertically, press and drag the sides. Hold shift to lock or unlock the aspect ratio. To scale around the center, hold alt to scale. Then hold control and drag the side to skew the content. And there are also transformation parameters in the top menu. The 3x3 grid is a rotation center. The X and Y is the position of the object. The W and H are the width and height, respectively, with a chain icon to lock the aspect ratio. And for the angle, it is the rotation of the object in degrees. In the skew H and V, or the horizontal and vertical skew. To confirm the transformation, press Enter or click the Confirm button in the top menu. To cancel, press Escape or click the Cancel button. For quick and common transformations like rotating 90 degrees or mirroring the image, click on Edit in the top menu and select Transform. Then you can choose from the predefined transformations. When you need to put your image on a flat surface viewed from the side, enable the free transform by pressing alt Control t then hold the Ctrl key and drag the corners to move each corner separately, achieving a 3D effect. And for more complex transformations like placing an image on a non-flat surface, you can use the warp feature. First, enable the free transform, then click the warp button in the top panel to switch to warp editing mode. Then you can adjust the 16 control points, 4 control points for the corners, 8 control points for the direction of edges near each corner, and 4 control points for the center. And you can use the predefined shapes like arch or flag to achieve a specific warp effect. By using the free transform tool in Photo P, you can easily move, rotate, resize, scale, skew, and warp your images for a wide range of effects and adjustments. And now you can efficiently apply these transformations to your projects. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.